speed limiter. Now 12 kilometers on this thing certainly doesn't feel slow but it can kind of get a bit frustrating when you've got an open road ahead of you and you really want to kind of open up the gas. This thing is a completely different story. I couldn't reach the top speed limiter on this. Uh, it definitely feels like it's going a whole lot faster and controllability is incredible. This guy, the old hoverboard, the speed on this is a lot lower and when you hit that speed Kind of feels a lot more uncomfortable. I think the problem is that each wheel is controlled by each different foot so your feet need to be doing exactly the same thing to keep it steady. Next up we're going to try some climbs and descents. They all felt really comfortable and very easy to go both up and down the hill. 
Uh, this guy hoverboarded needed uh, a little bit of an extra push to head up. But overall, uh, I'd say they're all very, very strong on the climb. Okay, next up, let's see how they handle a curb drop. Okay, so we eventually got it done on all three. Uh, just remember kids, perseverance. If at first you don't succeed, get your mum to bandage you up and give it another go. So what have we learned today? Well, we've got our budget scooter, which I think is perfect for people who are starting out on unicycles. Uh, after a while, you might get a bit frustrated by the speed limit, but in terms of control uh, and balance, this is a great starter model. In terms of the nine bar, uh, obviously this is the best of the best. Uh, it's got some great speed that we the struggle to, to hit every time you're out. Um, and it's also got a Bluetooth speaker, some nice settings that you can uh, sort out yourself. So uh, if you are more advanced rider or looking to go the extra distance, the 9 bob is a great shout. In terms of the balanced hoverboards, whatever you'd like to call it, um, in terms of uh, slow paced environments, maybe inside buildings and that sort of thing, you can't beat this guy. Uh, its maneuverability in uh, slow paced environments is second to none. In terms of outdoors and like high paced movements and journeys, I'd go for unicycles. Uh, but inside, this guy is where you want to be. So thanks a lot for watching everybody. Uh, we'll see you on the next video with our next tests. Bye bye.